So we're going to be spreading my composted manure today. The tractor's here to do some work in the fields. Inca's inspecting the wheels. They're big wheels, aren't they, Inca? Very big wheels. But I'm going to have him uh, spreading the manure. This is a chain spreader. So the, the manure gets loaded in there, composted manure, and then the chains spin, 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 spreading it out over the field. And so that is going to be soil food. And I'm going to get them to do this field over here. About two thirds of that field there is going to be spread with beautiful manure. Because these larch trees, when they shed their needles, it makes it very acidic, the soil. So I put as much farmyard, well rotted farmyard manure in as possible. And I'm increasing the multi species sward in there to combat the uh, pH balance of the soil so that these larch trees don't make the soil not want to grow stuff because um, they, they'll make it more acidic, the soil, which the grass doesn't necessarily like. So this side is all growing and this side is grazed and low. So this side is being fertilized and they're gonna, he's gonna spread my composted manure wood chip straw from the stables and the shed of the sheep all in this area. So I think he's about to start underneath the larch trees and birch trees and lime trees. But he's not. He stopped just in time. I've made life difficult for him. stuff is so rich looking. It's not easy with all the trees to spread. This is one of the reasons why a lot of farmers don't have trees on their big fields. few piles, but it's really rich stuff. It is going to be like rocket fuel to all the seeds I've sown here. Accelerating fast backwards.
Rebecca. Come on, pup. So now the three ram lambs and the two adult boys, remaining adult boys, are now in this paddock, which is really, really beautiful, rich. This is what the horses mob grazed. And you can see my sown diversity enhancer, salad brunette and sand foil are taking off so they will have delicious rich food in here in this paddock but no yo lambs over there you can see it's been spread the fertilizer of the manure and wood chip you can see on that far side there you can see all the and then this side, I'm going to be putting the remaining yews down in this field so that they can have lots of good fodder as well. They're still in a, in a paddock. You guys ready to go out? You ready to go out? You ready? You ready? Okay. Hey, baby. Come on. No, I don't have a bucket on me. Come on! Come on! Come on, babies! That's everybody. Oh, and the two oldies. The two oldies, mother and daughter. Great white yoke, the last of my old fashioned commercial flock. And Aggie, the Aga lamb, her daughter. Both old and arthritic. 
I'd say the great white yolk is 12, possibly 13 years old. And you think I've got a bucket of food for you. Don't you, Oreo Bloom? I don't. I'm afraid I don't. Whoops. Oh, no, <laughs> Oop, no, close no, that no, gate no, quick. No. Yes. <laughs> It's empty. <laughs> okay, it's an empty bucket. She's saying, ooh, there's food in that. Now, Oreo Bloom, look, there's nothing sorry. in it. It's electrical stuff and, yeah, sorry, girl. Yeah, look, see, there's nothing in there. It's like, how can I you know. do that, Margaret? How, dare, how you? dare you not have any food in the bucket? So the rams are safely in the paddock on the far side and the lambs here, so there won't be any more mistakes. Thank goodness. Okay, we're done now. Nice Good try, night. Oreo Bloom. Nice try, Oreo Bloom, but it's not gonna work. Off they go. Dun 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 dun. She's gonna go under the electric fence, is she? The baby has bourbon flyer. Yeah, and. There she goes.